There is no end to the miseries of the people in Pakistan as the Islamic nation is facing incessant economic crisis amid poor governance. High inflation, rising unemployment, and a growing shortage of food has led the South Asian nation into a deep crunch. Recently, a Pakistani journalist had a rare outburst on Twitter, cursing her grandfather for making the decision to choose Pakistan over India during partition. A testimony to the diverging fortunes of the two South Asian nations. One nation, a thriving democracy, heralded as a bright spot in the world, marching towards becoming a global superpower. The other, dealing with food riots and a spiraling economic situation. We find out the reasons behind Pakistan's economic collapse and the never-ending miseries of its people. A large number of underprivileged people across Pakistan who are not able to afford necessary food items due to rising inflation are forced to queue for hours to grab a bag of free flour. It is chaos all across the country as residents are not only facing disgrace but danger to their lives. On March 31st, 11 people, including women and children, lost their lives in a stampede during the distribution of food aid in Karachi City. At least five other people have been killed and several injured in recent weeks at sites in other provinces in Pakistan. Thousands of bags of flour have also been looted from trucks and distribution points. The people in Pakistan are feeling distressed due to soaring costs, which are exacerbated by Pakistan's falling currency. The government has even removed subsidies due to a settlement with the International Monetary Fund to unlock the latest tranche of its financial support packages. The cost of basic goods across the country has surged, with flour prices rising twofold. परसों हुकूमत सोच रही है अगर सोच रही तो जवाब दे To avail funds from the IMF as part of a 6.5 million USD bailout package agreed upon in 2019 the Pakistani government has made various economic modifications including the imposition of higher taxes and a hike in fuel prices The IMF has also asked Pakistan a country of some 220 million people to provide its external financing assurances before it takes the next step to release the bailout tranche. The country, with its poor record of corruption, has foreign reserves of 4.2 billion USD as of the week ended on March 24th, which will provide an import cover of less than one month. If you look at the currency of उसके ऊपर लिखा हुआ है स्टेट बैंक ऑफ पाकिस्तान की तरफ से हामिल हाजा मुतालबे पे अदा करेगा क्या अदा करेगा उस अमाउंट का जो है आपको सोना बैंक ने अदा करना है या आप फॉरेन करेंसी मांगते हैं तो वो अदा करनी है जब मेरा पैसा मेरे कमर्शियल बैंक के पास पड़ा है मैं बोला मुझे डॉलर दो वो नहीं दे रहा तो इट्स मीन आप डिफॉल्ट हो चुके हैं पाकिस्तान हैज अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ पॉलिटिकल अनसर्टेनटी डिसकंटिन्यूटी ऑफ मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसीज extremism, corruption, and energy shortages. Such deficiency create hurdles, preventing Pakistan from becoming an investment-friendly nation. Many foreign companies in Pakistan are on the brink of shutdown. Pakistan is teetering on the edge of complete chaos as it continues to face political clashes 
and financial collapse. Women in Afghanistan have been facing numerous challenges since the Taliban returned to power in 2021. Girls and women in the war-torn country have no access to education, employment, and public spaces. Despite all odds, the spirit of Afghan women remains high and they are trying to push on, proving to be a shining example of self-reliance. Many, like 22-year-old Sophia, logs in for an online English course run by one of a growing number of educational institutes. These institutes are trying to reach Afghanistan's girls and women who have been prevented from going to school due to the Taliban administration's restrictions. Actually, in that situation, uh, that we are banning from going to school, university, or any type of courses. This is a good opportunity for girls, for women in Afghanistan to continue their education, uh, their studies as, uh, in online courses. So this is why I want to continue my studies in online courses. And uh, this is my dream, this is my goal, to finish my studying, whatever, what happened in Afghanistan. Girls and women desperate to get an education have since flooded online schools like Sophia's online school, Rumi Academy, with applications. The school says it has seen its enrollment of mostly women rise from about 50 students to more than 500 after the Taliban took over. But like anyone else in Afghanistan who uses the internet, online students are hampered by power cuts and cripplingly slow internet speeds. یکی از نگرانی هایی که من در قسمت فعالیت ما دارم اگر روز اینترنت یا برق کلا در افغانستان قچوه این کار بر ما خیلی دشوار خواست داخت و یکی از نگرانی هایی است که ما همیشه داشتیم. Afghan women are also trying to be self-reliant by engaging themselves in business activities. They virtually joined an exhibition in Dubai to promote their carpets, jewelry, dried fruit, and other handmade goods as part of a push to access international markets. The three-day exhibition, supported by the United Nations Development Program, included 26 Afghan female-run businesses. Due to the difficulty of getting a visa and travel restrictions, the business owners joined via video link from Kabul. در شرایط بعدی که کابل سقوط کرد افغانستان سقوط کرد ما خیلی ناامید شده بودیم که شاید افغانستان برگشت به 20 سال قبل اما خانم های افغانستان خیلی مبارز هستند مبارزه میکنند مبارزین اقتصادی هستیم ما ما اجازه نمیتیم به هیچ عنوان که ما کاروبار خود از دست بتیم یا بر حکومت واجی شویم نه خیر ما همیشه مبارزه کردیم و هنوز هم مبارزه میکنیم facing a decades long conflict Afghanistan grapples with numerous challenges, including a food shortage, as foreign governments are cutting development funding and imposing sanctions, in large part due to the Taliban's restrictions on women. The World Food Program is currently short of 93 million USD, causing it to reduce rations to 4 million Afghans to 50% of what they need. Another 9 million people will lose access to food aid entirely in April if it does not receive funding commitments in coming weeks. Amid all confrontations, the Afghans have not relinquished their spirit and they are hopeful for better days ahead. <laughs> <laughs>